Hello friends, welcome to today's operating system class and in this class we will discuss the second part of multi-threading model. In this second part we will see the advantage of threads over multiple processes and disadvantage of threads over multiple processes and benefit of multi-threading model and multi-threaded server architecture and then parallel execution on multi-core system. First let us see the advantage of threads over multiple processes. Here we are having two advantages, first one is context switching and second one is sharing. Okay, when come to context switching, the threads are very inexpensive to create and destroy. That is creating and destroying thread is very easy when compared to the processes. And thread requires space to store because if we create any thread that will occupy some space in the main memory. main memory ok. So, the threads should also require some space to store the program counter and stack pointer SP mean stack pointer and general purpose registers. So, here all the threads are having its own set of registers and its own set of stack pointer stack ok and thread do not require space to share memory information to share memory information information about open file of IO devices in use ok because everything will be common for all the process and the threads are much faster to switch between the threads and it is easier for context switch using in the thread ok. So, these are the advantage over this context switching and when come to sharing threads allow the sharing of lot of resources which cannot be shared in process because the thread will share the coding data that is the uh, global variables and IO files which are common for all the threads but this is not possible in the process. Here the sharing code section, data section and operating resources like open file etc. will be common for all the threads but that is not possible in the multiple processor system. Uh, let us see the drawback of uh, threads over multiprocessing here. The first one is blocking and second one is security. When come to blocking, if kernel is single threaded and when system calls comes for uh, this particular thread, then it will block the whole process. It will block whole process. This is important, right? Then during that blocking period, the CPU will be idle, okay. So, the CPU will be wasted during that blocking period. So, this is the first drawback and when come to second drawback that is security, here uh, the extensive sharing among thread, there is a potential problem of security because for all the threads, this portion will be common, okay. Hence, it is possible that one thread overrides the stack of another thread ok because the data and file will be common for all the threads hence there is a possibility of overwriting the stack value of one thread by the other thread. So, this causes the security problem. And next let us see the benefits of multi-threading model. Here the first benefit is responsiveness, resource sharing economy and scalability. Let us see all those things one by one. First one is responsiveness. Here multi-threading is an interactive application that allow the program to continue running, to continue running even a part of this portion will be blocked ok or it performing a lengthy operation. If it is a lengthy operation or a part is blocked then there is no block in this multi-threading model and second one is resource sharing. So, this is another benefit that the sharing of code and data that allows the application to have several different threads, several different threads may be share the same address space ok because in the multi-programming system the code and data will be common for all the threads and third one is economy that is multi-threading is very much economy 
uh, for example in solarized operating system process creation is 30 times slower than thread creation and the context switch is also 5 times slower when compared to multi threading and the fourth one is scalability here multi threading can be greatly increased in multi processor architecture nowadays everyone are implementing this multi threading and the threads may run in parallel on different processes so these are the benefits of multi threading and next let us see the multi threaded server architecture here each thread performs a specific task such as managing device or interrupt handling the solarized operating system creates the threads in a kernel that is uh, for handling the interrupt okay when come to linux operating system the linux uses kernel threads for managing the amount of free memory okay this diagram explains how the thread will be created uh, between the client and server communication okay first the client will send the request to the server and the server will create a thread for servicing this particular request so after completing this particular uh, service again the server resumes in the listening for additional client request suppose if there is any additional client that will give request after completing this the server will listen for this thread also that is for this request also that is clients to request this process will be continued this diagram explains the concurrent execution of single core system here we are having only one core but we are having four different threads four different threads okay uh, here all the threads will share the single core by giving the time slice for each thread okay first uh, the task 1 will be executed then task 2 task 3 task 4 again task 1 will come here okay task 2 task 3 task 4 it will go on like this until all the tasks will be completed this diagram explains the parallel execution on multi core system here we are having two cores core 1 and core 2 the core 1 will be shared by task 1 and task 3 and core 2 will be shared by task 2 and task 4 so simultaneously these uh, two tasks will be executed on each core hence the execution time will get very much reduced up to this we have seen the second part of multi threading model in this lecture we have seen the advantage of threads over multiple processes and disadvantage of threads over multiple processes and benefits of multi threading model and multi threaded server architecture after that the parallel execution of multi core system and this is the question time students please write the answer for what are the benefits of multi threaded uh, multi threading model and write the answer in the comment box and next class we will see another part of multi threading model thank you